around here. So uh, I'm clicked on a thing. I hope that's not typing. It is. I believe I clicked it three times. Um, my presences are keybound, so I don't really care, and it's got a buff for it, so it's not as big of a deal. Uh, my warrior, I'd probably have them shown or have them bound three times. Like, uh, I wouldn't necessarily show blood strike, festering strike, and chains of ice because they have no cooldown. Um, I just make it battle stance, zerker stance, and defensive stance. Um, that's what the first one does. Second one is orange. Oh, it's right next to it. They're in order. Okay, this one's run UUIC interface slash slash targeting frames slash slash UI class circles. Um, I've no idea what that does. I'm guessing it tells it to, that it's going to change this to something class. I don't know. Um, and then the rest is for the spell bar. So right now, oh my god, how do I do this? Okay, I'm going to click my shit. Mounts down at the bottom where it's annoying. And it gets in the way of where my character portrait's at. Uh, or at least where my character targeting thing is at. I just hit Q, god damn it. Um, so it's going to, does it move it in this one? No. Okay, run frame spell bar sets go. So it makes it bigger, and then target frame spell bar will make this one bigger. So, because I'm targeting myself, you'll see it be really little. I want to hit the second one. Actually, casting bar set frames at scale. Focus. Okay, set myself to focus. No, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, click here. Slash focus. Set myself to focus, and then I'm going to recast. You'll see that they're little. I have to target myself. Um, damn it. Clicking is really hard, by the way. Uh, so they're little. So I'm going to hit the second one. And then they get a little bit bigger. Um, it's just a little bit more noticeable of a cast. So that's what that one does. And then UI frame errors hide. This sh is all sorts of random things like the little red messages that pop up here. Like when stuff's on global. Um, it also shows like your insignia has been looted, other annoying things. Um, come off, so you don't see that at all, because uh, I find them really annoying, and they get in the way of stuff, and they get distracting. Uh, the third one is CIT class icon, class underscore icon underscore T chords. I have no idea. Um, and then player group indicator hides, so normally there's a party one, if I'm in a group. Um, and it's going to hide that, and yeah, that's it. It's just going to hide the little group thingy when I'm in a group. I'm not in a group, so you can't see it, but... I believe you'll all know what I'm talking about if you log in WoW and have it 100% default and you enter a group. Uh, last one. Here's where I get lost. Run hook secure function ufp function dot self self portrait then local tcit select unit class dot something 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 then self portrait whatever you uic. Um, this one's all on its own. It's just its own script because it's too long to really put anything else in. So that should, yep, there's the class icons, and then we cancel this. People wondering, uh, once you update the frame, and then for yourself, change a piece of gear, it changes. So that covers those. That's the thingy. And then I have two more that I end up using, which one is the deep wounds icon. Um, Main map or main menu bar is all of this, I believe. Right, multi bar set scale. All of these and these um, are going to be scaled down when I hit this one. As well as this, I believe, actually moves my casting bar. It hasn't moved yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this. And then the casting bar goes up top. All of these have scaled down. Technically, the map's gotten bigger, I believe. Actually, no, the map's gotten smaller. Um, you can make it bigger. You have to change where it says 0 .08. If I change that to 1.2, the map's going to get gigantic. Um, not really. It'd be like 3 or something. And it'll change that. And then for you, it kind of depends on your monitor resolution, where your coordinates are for the cast bar, as well as the buffs, which is the next one. Um, if you look, I got a new monitor, so the buffs are a little bit off-center from when I hit the next macro, but it's not enough for me to care. Uh, so I'm just going to go to the next one, which is slash run buff set scale 1.0. 1.0? Uh, Isn't that default? Okay, whatever. Um, I guess that makes it bigger. That's all of these. And then the movement is 130 minus 5. So if I hit this, they get bigger. And then technically they move. And on my old monitor, they're synced up right on the edge of the map. Right now there's just this little gap where there could potentially be one more buff. But it's not enough of an issue for me to mess around with it any more than I already have when I originally got this uh, set up. 
So those are the scripts. Um, I will hopefully remember to put them in the description. We will see. And Fraps is like crapping on my face and giving me two FPS now, so I'm going to stop. Okay, this is still giving me like no FPS, but I'm not actually looking at anything, so it should be okay. Um, first, to get to lose control, it's an interface, add-ons. Uh, you can see all of my old add-ons and some of the default ones, but you just go down to lose control. Um, open the lose control.lua file as a notepad. I'm going to maximize this for you. And you'll see a bunch of things about collective making it being nice and all of this random stuff and it will show it gives you a lot of things on this like you'll see all the things monstrous blow I don't believe exists anymore actually yes it does um, that's just a reclassification for uh, enraged ghoul gnaw so it shows up uh, apparently chains of ice can't be shown for the roots but whatever uh, desecration is under snare pet leap is a root potentially uh, bash, which is apparently the same spell ID as the Spirit Wolf one, Cyclone, Hibernate, all of these are the CCs. Uh, don't mess with these, or at least I didn't. They go off of debuffs. Like when it shows these, it specifically looks at debuffs. So unless what you're trying to put on it is a debuff, I believe it's going to be in the wrong place. Um, the way I've done it every time has been in immunities. Um, so I have Predatory Strikes, which is the Feral Instant Cast Cyclone, Dash, I believe Stampeding Roar, I don't know if I added that, that's another speed buff for Ferals, um, Barkskin's in there, I believe that's not an immunity and wasn't in there by default, Survival Instincts, Fringed Region, Rapid Fire, Roar of Sacrifice um, is the Hunter one, I believe that was in there by default, but maybe not, Blazing Speed, Predator Swiftness, which is actually the wrong one, it's just spelled wrong, um, Icy Veins, this one's debatable. Avenging Wrath lasts really raw, long if it's on like a Holy Paladin, and it can override some of the other lose control things, like if you string it. Um, so you may not want this, but I like it. Uh, Archangel's also 20 seconds long, so you might want to watch out. Uh, Shadow Dance is in here. Combat Readiness, Elemental Mastery, Demon Soul, Recklessness, Deadly Calm, Shield Wall, Rallying Cry. All the stuff you'd want to put in. And then I specifically went in and added things like, uh, I think I just saw Unholy Frenzy. Um, that's pretty big for breaking CCs if you want it on there. Um, it is beautiful for my hunter, actually. I love it. I can't believe, I don't know how I honestly played without it. Um, I stared at buffs a lot more. This has made me a worse player, I promise. Anyway, uh, scrolling down more. Immune Spell, AMS, Cloak of Shadows, Grinding Totem, uh, Spell Reflection. Some of these are not all me. And then... Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of things, like, that pop up, like, a lot of these are defaulted, so just look for where you're in immunities, and find out where they're at. Um, I scrolled down too far. Where are you? I'm probably gonna have to do this again if I have to update this, I don't know. Anyway, the way you do it is exactly copy it, so what's a buff that's semi-useful to put in? Um that I don't already have. I can't think of one. Um, okay, I'll, I'll cheat. I'm not actually going to put this in, but oh shit. Well, time to edit. and put this on a different screen. No, wait. Um, hold on. I'm going to move this on a different screen so you don't see my Facebook or anything. Actually, that wasn't my actual Facebook, so it's okay. Oh, wowhead.com. Okay, putting this in here. Avatar. Uh, apparently there's a mop one. Mop spell IDs. Wow. Wowhead. No. Wowhead.com. Isn't there a mop one? Okay, fine. I won't do that. Um, I'll put in eradication for warlocks. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it is... A, uh, oh, there's a missed one. Eradication increases the haste of a warlock by 30% off a of proc. Um, apparently it's whenever you do damage with corruption. Uh, it's like lust. I thought it was 30%. I swear it's 30%. Did I click the wrong one? Nope, but whatever. Okay, so I clicked on this, and it will tell me wowhead.com slash spell equals 64368 in the web browser. I'm going to copy that. Alt-tab back to this. 
So I'm just going to make a new line. Yes, I'll make a new line. Try to keep everything as organized as it was. Copy paste space equals quote immune quote comma space 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 dash dash space. I believe this cancels it. This is irrelevant to it. It's just that's the spell ID and the classification is immune. Um, and then I'm going to put in eradication and then you literally just save um, I'm not going to do it because I don't care about eradication because it's up too frequently and it gets cl it clusters the uh, lose control so you won't actually ever see what you want to see because sometimes eradication will be a higher priority um, how to change that I don't know all I know is immunities are the only ones that try to get their buffs as opposed to all of these which are just debuffs um, so that's loose control editing. Uh, if I knew more about this, I'd be fine. If you're really smart, you can go down here and uh, anchor equals blizzard. This is all the default stuff. Um, like, this is all settings within the game. I don't have uh It's actually, yeah, they're default. Nope, there it is. I don't have arena 1, 2, 3 because those are still default in arena 5. Party 1, you can see that... Uh, I've changed the size, I believe, I don't know. Um, that's lose control in a nutshell. And how to edit it. And hopefully I didn't go on for too long. Uh, apparently, Psychic Horror is pretty intense. I don't know. I believe this is a... If you're a caster and don't care about disarms or have disarm off, it's a edit that Collective put in to not put in Psychic Horror. By the way, if you don't know, Collective is a badass. He's the one who does pretty much all the scripts for the tournament so people can actually see, like... I believe he's got a script that has a trinket icon. You can just move everything around a little bit, and because it's within the game, it's allowed at the tournaments. Um, in theory, you could probably type in this entire add-on. Um, actually, no, I believe it's constantly running in the background with a couple of them. But you could do some basic things. Uh, in a nutshell, all of these scripts in the game, not that lose control or anything like that you can just use move anything um, there you go guys I hope that answered most of your questions and wasn't as boring and annoying to listen to and watch as I would find it myself because I enjoy playing with stuff and figuring it out for myself I don't like being taught on stuff like this I just want to go and fuck it up a million times redownload it and have lose control sitting in my downloads about 18,000 times um, which is how I figured it all out um, it actually was pretty simple to figure out. Anyway, thanks for watching.